So I saw something that really pissed me off. What I saw was this article that ranked the best survival games and the list was so bad. This list was terrible, okay? I'm just gonna put it up on screen. The top 10 survival games that it ranks, ranks them in the worst order I've ever seen in my life. Unless you think Subnautica is the best survival game. So I decided that I wanna play every single one of them and rank them myself because Gamerran has no idea what they're talking about. So starting out, we have the forest. You start off by seeing a cutscene of you and your little son on a plane. It's gonna be all right, Timmy. Timmy, it's fine. Timmy, don't worry. And then plane crashes and you see your son being taken by a red man. Oh my gosh. No, Timmy! That's that's all it tells you from the start. We gotta get all this stuff from the plane crash. Let's go, let's go survive. I'm just gonna start off with saying this is the best lore in any survival game, hands down. Oh my gosh. What? It's the hole. Me and Griff loaded in and we just spent a long time building a cabin. Look here, 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 here. We're in a plane area. I say we build over here. Boom! You are surrounded on this island by cannibals that are just infested everywhere and they are really creepy it's so fun to fight them but at the same time it's like ugh. oh oh damn griff these are cannibals i think Where is oh the griff help yeah, ah ah get away from me Griff, help! The cave system in this game is so terrifying oh. and thrilling at the same time. Not only that, but there are mutants in this game. Oh, wait, I see oh. some. It's a little baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. Oh, no, baby! Ah! Oh, shit! I threw down my back up, back up, back up, back up, back up! <laughs> is it dead? Oh, I killed it. We finally found this axe. We had to fight a bunch of things. It was scary. It was dark. It was it was so fun. Oh, oh! Look what we just got. I beat this game with two of my friends about three years ago. It, it is one of my favorite gaming experiences. It's scary. It's fun. And the lore, man. I don't want to spoil anything, but the lore? I mean, I think it's obvious. This game is an easy S tier. It's great. Subnautica. On the website, this was the best survival game. I'm just going to go on and say that is so wrong. Subnautica starts by you in a plane crash and you get into an escape pod and you crash on the ocean. Damn. See, like, if this is me re in real life, I would be so scared because I, I like hate deep water, but I guess it's going it. Not like this. Like, this water's cool. You know what I mean? This game just completely throws you in and says, you're probably gonna die, so try not to. I had never played this game prior to this video. So for the first, like, 15, 20 minutes, I was just swimming around and mining things and crafting things. I didn't mention this earlier, but I am so scared of deep waters. I'm not scared of clear deep waters. Like, this game's clear. I'm scared of stuff like this and stuff like this. Like, that just terrifies me. Like, how can that not scare you? Whoa, what's down here? Oh, sh This game genuinely scared me. Now, I was trying not to show it. I was so quiet during like most of the recording because I was actually just scared. What is this about? Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Did I just die? What the hell was that? Just like a suicidal fish? If I didn't have that fear or if I was playing this game with friends, I could see myself having a great time with it. Now, is it the best survival game? Hell no. Sorry to all you Subnautica fans. This game is nowhere near the best survival game. Jeez, see, like, I hate that. Oh, this game gets really high B tier. It would be an A if I wasn't scared of deep waters, but it's just not for me, personally, so. Okay, this next game is No Man's Sky. I'm not gonna lie, I was disappointed by this game. I had never played it before this video, and I probably won't ever play it. You load in, and you're on this planet, and it's like, fix your ship. Oh, look, there's creatures over here. Hi, little guy. Oh, here's oh here's my, here's my uh, base. So I spend 30 minutes fixing my ship. I'm not gonna lie, right now, this just kind of feels like a running simulator. 
Are you alright? Are you straight? Look at this little thing. Look at how he walks, bruh. Keep going. Keep doing your thing, bruh. You collect these tools and stuff like that, and it's cool. The island you're on is cool, and don't get me wrong. When you take off in that ship, it's cool. Oh, finally. Let's land on this. This looks like Earth. Engaging in pull. Oh, damn. But then I landed on another planet, and then I was like, I landed on a new planet. I'm a little disappointed because the first thing I see is these are all giving me the same materials. I land on another one, and I'm like, these are all the same items. This place actually looks cool. What up, dog? Oh, I don't like that everything's the same. Everything gives me carbon, ferrite, and other stuff. All the planets that I landed on didn't have much depth. They all had different creatures. The last one I landed on was kind of cool, but truthfully, the first hour of me playing this game was not really fun. I thought I would like the exploration aspect of it, but I don't know. It just felt like all the planets were copy-pasted. I know some people are going to be like, you didn't play for three hours. I'm going to put this game in D tier. I, it really disappointed me. I was actually really excited to play it, but honestly... It just felt empty. Minecraft. This might be the game that a lot of people were waiting for. The thing with Minecraft, this game is amazing. But if we're talking about vanilla Minecraft, it's just all right. And this is just my opinion. I only have like a two week vanilla Minecraft phase. So do we play like like normal Minecraft here? Or? You honestly load in, you build a house. Give me a tour of your crib after 40 minutes. Here's my house. It literally looks like a piece of shit. And then you go kill the ender dragon. Now, unless you're like a crazed Minecraft player where you, you create your own village farm and you create your own custom trades, which some people like doing. I just don't like doing that. The only reason why I rank this game so high is because of the... <laughs> When I was 13 years old, I figured out how to get this thing called Hexit. This thing was so fun. I killed him. No way, it's collapsing. No, the building's collapsed. I didn't even get the freaking top chest. Look. I was so used to the normal things in Minecraft that when I played Hexit, I was like, what are all these things that they added? That's why I love the mods in Minecraft, specifically Hexit. Hexit has a small place in my heart. You can't put this game anywhere else other than S tier. It's not the highest S tier. I'm putting it at low S tier because without the mods, this game is honestly A tier. It barely hangs on to the S tier. Don't starve. I'm just going to say it, bro. I know this game has a cult fan base. I do not like it at all. It's just boring. The game just throws you in and is basically just like, don't starve. Hey, pal, you don't look so good. All right, I'm in. I ran around for like 30 minutes just looking for specific items to start. The only thing I like about this game is that the graphics are creative. Everything else just kind of pisses me off. I finally found them. Science machine, there. And after I found them... Let me hit you. If I have to restart, I'm never playing this game again. Yeah. I died to a frog after around 30 minutes. It's an F tier. I'm sorry. It's just boring. Don't be like, you didn't play Don't Starve Together. I've played that game too. It's the same damn thing. I'm just going to say this right now. This is my favorite survival game, Terraria. I mean, does this game even need an intro? You load in immediately and you can do whatever you want it's true survival at its core kind of like minecraft all right i'm gonna try to speed run you can either go down and explore caves oh heart crystal oh my god or you can build a home up top for your npcs i normally take my time on a house but that'll do for now i love the exploration in this game it is perfect come on give me something good boomerang Yes, Spawner and Hermes boots. You go down in caves and there's just enough things to feel like you will find something, but there's not too many things, if that makes any sense. The creatures in this game, all of them are perfect. There's so many of them. Damn it. I got rubbed out by an antlion. All right, that's weird. The boss fights. Don't even get me started on the damn boss fight. There's, I don't know how many there are. It feels like there's goddamn 20, but there's probably like 12. All of them are unique in their own way. He's literally one shot. I'm not throwing here. There we go. I love the music, bro. The mu the bum, 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 bum. That music is so good. This is the hard part. This is the hard part. I mean, that's just fire. If you haven't played Terraria, I don't like I. I I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, I've beaten this game like seven times. Because of that reason, this game is the best survival game, in my opinion, again. S tier, nothing is going above this. 
Rust. I was really surprised to see this game on the list. I'm not going to lie. I don't see it as a survival game. I see it as more of like a multiplayer game with survival aspects to it, which sounds fucking stupid. I loaded into Rust. If there's one thing that everybody knows about it, it's that this game is just hard. There's players in every game that have like thousands of hours. So it's really hard to actually get into the game because the skill gap is so major. Oh, I hit him twice. I ran around and I finally figured out how to build, which it was my first time ever building. I got my first crib up right now. And I eventually found a supply Jeez. drop, which was insanely rare. I just got an airdrop thing, dude. I just threw it right outside my house and I was praying that I got it. All right, I'm just gonna throw it right in my crib. If someone gets this from me, I'm literally quitting the game. I've never gotten one of these. I got it. I got it. So I ended up actually getting it. And I just started running around with a pistol because I wanted to get one kill. I don't care if I die. I'm going absolutely out there kidding. Oh. Oh my God. I'm going back home. I'm getting in my base. I'm fucking saving. After finally finding someone and killing them, I took all my stuff back to the base. I stopped recording. And then not even five minutes later, I opened up my door and three people ran to my base, took everything. This is a very good game. Whenever I play with my friends, they would just give me Eokas and I'd run around calling myself the Eoka demon. If you know what an Eoka is, it's like a shotgun that might work when you hit it enough times. So I would just hide and just like wait, be like a little snail underneath someone's base until I hear them pop out and I'd be like, that's the fun part about Rust. Rust is a great game. It's a strong A, it's not S, but it's just a good game. Valheim. I'm gonna be straight up. This game is such a good game. So Valheim is just a survival game, but you play as Vikings. This game is so pretty, like actually. I love building in Valheim. I'm just gonna start off with that. I built it after 25 minutes. It is a little humble hut. The creatures in this game are so cool. The only thing that's annoying about the gameplay is the damn stamina bar. That goes down so fast. Like, you can't even swim for more than 10 feet without drowning. It's so annoying. The boss fights are almost as good as Terraria's, in my opinion. They're so fun. Oh! Um, this is not looking good. Uh -huh. Alright, we got him down to half health. But... I'm still rolling with 11 health right now. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Yeah. My first time ever playing this game was like two years ago with like six of my friends. I convinced all of them to get it because we were out of school for like a week because of the snow. So for like five days straight, we just grinded and put like 50 hours in this game. And it was so fun. This game gets a high S tier. It's right below Terraria. It's not as good as Terraria. Okay, um, so that's my rankings. Uh, I guess I'll link the tier list if you want to rank them however you want. I mean, I don't, I don't really care. I just felt like I needed to do that. A lot of you probably disagree with me. That's fine. <laughs> Man, I think this shit is pissing me off, and I don't know now, but I'll know in a month, cause I'm gonna make it either way I'm saying.